My name is Josh, a.k.a. Time Frame, and I want to welcome you all to another episode of my long-form Let's Play of Deliver Us the Moon. Apologize for the current screen we're on right now, but we have limited oxygen, so we're taking just a moment to uh, do this intro first. If you're new to the series, do note you can find a link to the playlist in the description down below if you're watching on YouTube. Of course, if you are watching live on stream, thank you for being here. Know that I appreciate having you folks here as part of the streaming experience. It's what makes this, makes this fun. Uh, I enjoy talking with you, interacting with you on chat, doing all the channel point stuff with you. It's all part of the fun of doing this, so thank you again. For being here and taking part in that of course if you just want to sit back and enjoy the evening and enjoy this show that's welcome as well i enjoy my lurkers just as much as my active chatters because you know what you're still here you're still watching so thank you so much that being said if you would like to join us live you can do so every monday and wednesday from 7 30 p.m until 10 p.m pacific at twitch.tv forward slash time frame uh lastly i just want to remind you folks that we only have a couple more days left of the extra life stream uh campaign that we're running right now uh, it is currently the 21st of December, and we will be ending the campaign, whether we make it to 1,000 or not, on December 31st. So thank you to everyone who has donated so far, and to those who uh, are able to. Uh, this does go toward, directly toward the folks over at OHSU Dornbecker. So really do appreciate you folks helping us out there uh, with that, those of you who can, and those of you who are in spirit. Appreciate you as well. That's it. Let's go ahead and continue with our gameplay. Looks like we have another thing to cut here. Boop, boop. Come on, there we go. Doop, doop, doop. Doop, doop, doop. Doop, doop. Come on. Did I miss one? There we go. Whee! It's dead, Jim. Let's get her to some O2 real quick. No. Yeah. Please turn the airlock on. Thank you. Oh, no, that turned it off. Please turn it on, I said. Oh. Ow. That is the problem. Oh, I need more air. While well, relatively close to the Tombow facility, the rugged crater base makes Reinhold Station hard to reach. Whatever means of transportation Sarah has tried to use, the grim marks in her whitewashed suit indicate she has had to make the final stretch on foot. Okay, how are we going to do this? That's not going to work. Shoot. Oh, uh, we may just die in here, folks.
Okay, we're gonna have to try this again. Welcome back, Cap. Get back just in time to see me die. Run out of oxygen. Not going to waste this time. I think we know where you are, but we're not going to take it yet. We have a way to cut you guys. Because that's a problem. Here we got that one there. Thank you. Thank you. What happens if I try to interact with this? I can't interact with it while it's, while it's not powered. So, gives me a little more time. How do I get past those? Your thoughts are welcome. Oh, hey, he was able to follow me through there now. Okay. It's test Reinhold's interstation status at the control center. No, man, I made that joke that last episode. In spite of WSA efforts to reduce the mental and physical burden on lunar colonists to acceptable levels, not all colonists were left untouched by the conditions on the moon. The events at Higgins and the solitary existence at Reinhold seem to have left their mark on the base operator's mind. <sighs> Any word from EVAC Crew 1 or MacArthur? Nothing. Communication's dead. What the hell is going on? What, what the... All power in the tracks is off as well. I don't know. Let's be quick. 
We have to get to Moonhull with that helium before MacArthur and the evacuees arrive. We'll split up. You get a report on the tracks and look for a way to repower the monorail platforms. I'll find the operator to board the train for evac. Let's go. Wait up. There he is. We do at your six control center. I have eyes on him. Go check on the train. I'll take care of this. Vincent, the Copernicus outpost on poles, MacArthur's second outward task force reaches Rainfall to Crater Base. Upon arrival, it appears that they can't leave. The monorail station has gone offline for unknown reasons. Unable to communicate with the first task force, and with only little with only little time left to complete their mission, they split up and secure their objectives. that is distance based. It, it magically teleported. Hey! Never separate the party. Hey, you there! A malfunction has occurred at the Tombow facility. We're here to evacuate you to Copernicus Moon Hub. Train got stranded at the station, though. How can we get the tracks powered again? We're in a rush. Why are you here? Have you been watching me with that thing? Are you going to the domes? At Huygens? Everyone Colonists, we're here for your safety. Planning. Official orders of the Lunar Council. Especially the Council. Hey, come in. Hey, I got bad news. We're not going to get a run-in. Any luck up there? Always watching in the no, shadows. just a nut job. Moving Quit moving. the riddles, old man. How can we get to Moonhop ASAP? And the, uh, if the trains are out, you have to take the Beatles. They'll carry you across. If you get out of the crater at all, of course. The sands are rough out of here. Broke a lot of beetle legs trying to cross those. But there's a path. There used to be one. I know it. Driven it many times. The rovers. Get back inside. I found something. Bring the package. <laughs> MacArthur's second task force finds out the monorail station in Reinhold Crater Base has been actively sabotaged. Anxious to make it to Moon Hub for the secret of outward launch, the task force officer discovers another way out of the base while the rambling operator mutters conspiracy theories to himself about the Higgins malfunction of the Lunar Council. Now, I've clearly missed a couple things, but... What are these? What are those? They can't be for communication. We already had greater communication without them. It goes here. All the unexplained shipments of materials and helium end up in Copernicus. Why? Much like Maria Gonzalez, a fellow survivor of the Higgins malfunction, Reinhold operator Edgar Davis has been looking for answers. His bewildering findings blame Rosa Lever for the Higgins cryoseed malfunction and establish a suspicious link between Lunar Council activity and the disappearance of Helium-3. Yeah, well, well they don't... IRL, they don't tend to be uh, legit. They do tend to be legit in mystery games like this.
Power very low. Moron let's see, diagnose and PT. Maybe it's next. MPD pillar one, not sufficient power and sufficient for long distance control. Access moon surface through. Power to MPT pillar one by aligning MPT pillar two with it. Okay. Time for this? Evac 2 to Evac 1, come in. We need to transport the helium to Moonhop by rover, since we're not going to get the train running before the MPT shuts down. Evac 1, come in. Do you copy? <laughs> what are you laughing about? <laughs> for the first time, I know everything. No more secrets. And all it took was one little switch. That was it all along. Don't mind him. Let's get out of here. I just had to see. See what you were up to. And, and now I know. Just for the fuel. Helium-3. A ticket out of here. You stranded up here? Just leave him. He's not worth it. We gotta go. Simply a flick of the switch. And you did the rest. You have no idea what you've got yourself mixed up in. And what you've put at risk. ASEL-30. Don't. Activate crowd control protocol. No! I don't think I get to drive a moon motorcycle this time, no. No time left to spare. The task force sees his rovers to rejoin MacArthur and Moonhub before outward launches. It was clear that the base operator is searching for answers. Disable the monorail station to strand them at Reinhold. After the operator realizes that MacArthur secretly peddled massive amounts of healing, three to power his outward state exodus, the infuriated officer commands his ASC to strike. Well, no, that that it, that doesn't kill them. Uh, it's a it it's, it incapacitates them. No, that's the rover there. I just want to see what else there is around here before I. Okay, that's another airlock. Okay. We got this. We got this. Yeah. It's such a love game that actively judges your partner. Yes, but at the same time, I kind of understand it.
Well then. That's the problem. Um... Okay, I can't get underneath there. Okay. I wasn't sure if I'd be able to fit. Interesting that some of these towers are, or at least all these towers are somewhat similar, but not quite. Oh, great. All right, Wraith Wraitharian, thank you very much for, for joining us today, though. Enjoy your nibbles. Very useful. I am a toaster. I am a toaster. I am a toaster. I am a toaster. <laughs> oh yeah. So happy I made that uh, made that a blurb. the timer for Yeah, I think you're right, Cap, but, but, uh... I think I jumped out too soon, dang it. Come on, 
Come on, come on, come on. Um. Things fall apart, the center does not hold. I know, I have no oxygen. Sabotage they were talking about. Come on, come on. Move, 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 please. Whew. A light in the dark, achievement unlocked. I guess that was the uh, sabotage. Um, hi. Um, hmm. Oops. Do I have enough oxygen? Um, Okay, I'm not dead yet, but I'm unconscious with no oxygen. Thank you, random bits of oxygen. Shouldn't be out in the middle of nowhere, but somehow are. Oh! Bramony. Someone, you're right. Someone opened that door. Now this area has no oxygen. Let's go ahead and get some more. Oh no, okay, we're, we're actually we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We Gucci. We Gucci. Evacuated? 
No, 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 this can't be right. They can't just leave. The colony will fail without them. And Earth. Wait, I didn't have it. How could they right. all be so goddamn selfish? What were they thinking? How can they be so... Oh. Tombo reactor failing. Outward protocol in effect. Evacuate all facilities. Yes, I know they evacuated. I know. I know I'm alone. Tombo reactor capacity at 10%. It's still going? Alex, we have to go. This is, this would make things right. We could fix this. We can fix this. Okay. Just follow the tracks along the pillars. You'll make it to Tombo. You'll make it, Sarah. Really, she didn't. Aww. I was worried for her. On my way, Sarah. I'll find you. Roth didn't give up on her. Achievement unlocked. Once upon a time in the void. Tumba. Ra ra tumba ba. <laughs> I know, I'm a geek. I I, I don't mind. Can't be the end. But with only 10 minutes left of the night, I do think this makes for a good stopping point. So we'll see whatever next thing we have here. Ground control to Fichina 1. I'm not sure if you're still there. The dust storms, they've gotten worse. Everything has. The solution has to be a Tombo. Whether it's the reactor or the MPT transmitter itself, I can't tell. But we're at the end of the line, Wolf. We could use some good news down here. I wish I, I could. I wish I could help you. Oh, well, this is not going to go well. Someone dismantled the tracks. Uh, QTE again. Heck happened here. Please travel
Um, how do I get out? Do all this this all over again. It's our next session, but uh, I yeah, something weird has definitely occurred. Or at, at, you know, as the saying goes, something's rotten in Denmark. But, um, I don't know what to do next. Get to where we can. The bridge providing entry to Tomba facility lies in ruins, although no sign of sabotage or demolition are apparent. The debris bears no marks of a natural calamity either. Only a narrow path remains intact for outgoing monorail traffic. Sarah has either reached Tomba before the bridge collapsed or found another way in. Oh, okay. There's air up there. Can I do this? We, Woo, doggy, nope. I'm not going up there that way. Okay, so it'll come down here to me. They're supposed to barrels. I, it, you know, I honestly tried. It wouldn't let me. Oh dear. Okay, you know what? Yeah, we are going to go ahead, and uh, it'll start us at the at the last. Well, actually, just because I'm 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 curious. Okay, it didn't explode. That's why I wanted to double check. Okay, you know what? We're going to come back to here. We're going to actually end things out here. Because we are at a good point to do so. So let's go ahead and close out that. We'll, we'll, we'll pick this up next session. The next time we do this particular game. But yeah, so with that, we're going to go ahead and close out the YouTube recording. So for those of you... Who are watching on YouTube, thank you very much for being here. I hope, hope you enjoyed. If you did, please make sure that you help me out by clicking the like button on the video and commenting on the video. That helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. Also, make sure you click the like, or you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and click the notification bell. That way you'll know when new videos come up on the channel. I post new videos to this channel every single day, so it's a great way to catch up on previous streams and series that we've done on the Twitch side, as well as some videos that are recorded just for the YouTube side of things. As well, double check down on the doobly doo. You'll find links to all my social media channels, both on YouTube and on Twitch. You'll find those there, so you can actually follow up with me after we're done here streaming, and you can interact with me on other platforms, as it were. I'd love to talk to you there. But with that all said, again, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and until I see you next time, come on, lovers. <laughs>